Hi, Phil Richardson here, Thought Crew. I uh, wanted to talk to you today about Mrs. Gren. Well, that's a mnemonic, which is M-R-S-G-R-E-N. Um, and that's a mnemonic for life, and it's used by biology students to help them understand whether a biological system they're looking at is alive or not. It's also possible to use the Mrs. Gren uh, as a checklist for business and check whether your business is alive. Now, that may sound a bit odd, but if you think about it in terms of business as a whole system, then it really isn't very different to nature as a whole system. So this is how it works. Each of the letters of Mrs. Gren stand for movement, respiration, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion and nutrition. And what you do is you take each of those and you analyse those against your business problem, business area, department, team or even perhaps um, your leadership and you say I wonder if there is a is part of our business which isn't actually alive. Now excretion's a good one and uh, and can be the source of much fun but if you think about it in terms of how nature works excretion for nature is getting rid of substance or material that isn't required anymore. So it's not waste, it's just not required. And it means it's not required by the very system that currently holds it. Now a good example could be, say, customer data. You may have a shed load of customer data, but actually none of it is needed anymore, or only parts of it are needed, or perhaps it's for a product you don't do anymore, or perhaps it's a market segment you don't operate anymore. Well, I wonder if it's of interest to anybody else. And that's how nature works. Nothing is ever wasted. Nothing is ever built that can't be recycled. And waste is never real waste, because it could often be the food or a substance that can be used by somebody else. So perhaps Mrs. Gren might work for you analysing your business to say, is there other, is there value in that business and where else can that value be generated?